Hi guys, my name is Daniel Rosal and I wanted to make a quick video. Um, I'm putting out some just basic uh, kind of tutorial style videos at the moment in order to show people how to do certain um, certain things, vital uh, vital things that might enable some people to stay home where otherwise they might have gone out. Uh, obviously, uh, things in Israel at the moment, I'm just show you the latest news, uh, are getting quite serious. 2170 and five deaths uh, confirmed and at 5 p.m. now they are bringing in the latest restrictions in the lockdown now Israel uh, like like Ireland uh, and it's Taoiseach uh, Varadkar also do not like using the word lockdown so it's just kind of slang terminology but um, certainly the measures to kind of um, increase the strictness of uh, trying to keep people in their in their home are uh, increasing here all the time. I'm going to make a separate video just about developments in Israel. Um, I'm in Jerusalem, but it's pretty much the same across the country. Um, but yeah, at five o'clock, they're saying 100 meters from your house is there. That's the radius, unless you need to go uh, to pick up groceries or you need to go to pick up stuff from the pharmacy. So I am going to make a separate video. That's what I was going to do here for Shufasal, but I see unfortunately. Uh, you need a national ID number and I wanted to create a demo account uh, just to not have to show my own credentials but uh, the, their system is unfortunately too smart it, uh, it doesn't pick up a bogus Teodot Zahoot I think there's a Teodot Zahoot generator you can use but let's keep that all for, for a separate video so um, in this video I just wanted to basically uh, read over sort of uh, this blog post I put out a few days ago so, as you said, there are two things on Thursday um, that the government announced were considered essential activities. They're still considered essential. One is getting medications. The second one is going to pick up your groceries. There is other activities in the official government regulation that don't apply to most people, namely visiting the Knesset, donating blood. Uh, there's a few more, but the main, and going to, and going to work for, it's not clear whether that's who's considered an essential worker, but most people at the moment are working from home. Um, one avoidable excursion, two avoidable excursions. One is supermarketing. Um, you can use Super Shufasal, you can use Rami Levy if they deliver in your area. And another one is prescription medication. So this is a new system from uh, from Superfarm that I wrote this medium post about on Thursday because most people um, don't know it exists basically, it, it's new. So let me just show you quickly. Um, I'm not going to do this uh, actually live on the website. I'm going to go through my post because uh, it's going to be quicker than having to edit out my national ID number and all my personal details. Um, so I'll just do a combination of showing aspects on it live on the site and going through my Medium post. Uh, and if you want to follow me on Medium, I have to give myself a little plug here. Uh, Daniel Rosal Medium and um, the blog post, uh, the post I'm demonstrating here is how to use Superfarm to order prescription medications online in Israel. So this is, the first step is go to the Superfarm website. Uh, the second step is to, if you don't have an account, click on, uh, click on this, Hashma up the top, and uh, you'll have a contact form there, uh, sorry, registration form, and just put in your uh, name, surname, I, I'm, writing, I'm making these little tutorials, I'm going to do freelancing as well, for the benefit of people with very, very little Hebrew. My Hebrew is not fluent or perfect, it's certainly good enough that I can navigate these systems and order stuff online. Um, but you know, I'm making these for, because I know a lot of people right now need to get medications, need to get groceries, and even this level of Hebrew is an impediment, and therefore people are going out which obviously defeats the whole idea of staying home and uh, social distancing. So this is it, Shem Prati, first name, Shem Shpacha, surname, email address, etc. Fill out the form, confirm. Um, this one is, is uh, required, you know, you approve the TNCs. Like every single sign-up form nowadays, they also try to get you into their mailing list. Uh, if you are confused about what any of the stuff means, of course, I don't typically use Firefox, I'm just using it for this, but uh, you can run it through Google Translate, and uh, I did not even read this. 
This is again not obligatory, they're trying to sign, sign you up for their newsletter. So just this one and register, that's step one. Step two is Beit Merkachat. This means pharmacy in Hebrew. And uh, have I already clicked on it? I'm not sure about that. One sec. Oh, here we go. Okay. I did wash my hands before making this video. That was a little, uh, very, very hard to stop touching your face and scratching your eyes and stuff like that. Um, the URL structure here is shop.superfarm.co.al forward slash pharmacy. Now, this currently supports uh, these Kupot Cholim. Now, Israel has, um, I believe it's five. Let me just see who's not here, because as I said, this is a relatively new, um, a relatively new thing that Superfarm have put out there. Um, I think there are five Kupot Cholim, uh, but you know what, it doesn't, it does not really matter. Um, these are the three that are working with it. Klalit, Maccabi. Ah, I have the list here. Klalit, Leomit. Ah, okay, so there's only four, and Leomit is, I believe Leomit is the smallest. Um, just pulling this information in from the Nefesh Benefesh site. Leomit is the smallest of them, so they're not on this list. So the other ones besides Leomit are here. I have Maccabi. I think it's excellent. They have a little video. Um, this is in Hebrew explaining Chadash Super Superfarm. Curious, as I said, I think I saw January this video will probably give a clue. It was published on the 26th of January 2020, so that's uh, two months ago tomorrow, so I think this is very new. Um, yeah, so basically click, then you click on your health fund. And now let me take it with, let me go back to my blog and uh, take it from here. Um, so click on this, then you will get to this um, integration process. Now how this works is it basically connects your Superfarm account with the digital prescriptions you have on file from your Kupad doctor. So they have to be digital prescriptions. This will not work if you have, if your doctor has written you something on paper and it's not being generated and logged in uh, the in your EMR, your, I think it's called your electronic medical record. So if it's not done in a computerized fashion, you will not be able to uh, use it for this system. So when you click on Maccabi, this is the system. It puts up a little pop-up window. You enter here your national ID number, your Teodot Zahut. You enter here your date of birth. Um, and then you need to confirm with Maccabi, you need to authorize um, Superfarm to pull in the digital prescriptions. Like many online systems, it works through a simple... Um, email slash telephone based one-time password OTP system. Uh, I always go for email because I try to keep my phone off during the day when I'm working. Uh, the government are probably going to knock down my door because they're, they're tracking people now. But uh, I always go for email just as a general preference. So you receive your one-time passwords. As I said, your OTP. The email comes straight away. You pop in that uh, code here in the same pop-up window, and then the magic happens. So the magic is this. Um, the system will automatically import your prescription medications. So as you can see, um, I have asthma, which is partially why I'm taking this whole stay home thing so seriously. We're supposed to be an at-risk group. Uh, I also have GERD, tends to go hand in hand. GERD is, uh, you know, um, reflux, stomach acid, heartburn is more commonly called. So these are, I have these scripts from my, my family doctor for Monty Lucas, which is singular, and Amepridex. And uh, it takes about five seconds and everything loads. So what you'll see here is what you've been prescribed by your doctor. In other words, if I've only got two um, uh, boxes of singular on my digital prescription, that's what I'll be able to order through the system. I won't be able to order five if my doctor hasn't prescribed five. So basically, it's very, very straightforward. They're all automatically ticked. So you just untick what you don't need and adjust the quantity up to the, up to the maximum. It gives you all the details here, uh, prescription number, the name of the prescribing physician, and how long the prescription's valid for. I just blurred everything out here for privacy. Um, and it's, it's really, the best way to describe it is it's like ordering from Amazon. You have a little cart here, shows up your mountain shackles. Um, and let me just cut to the chase here. So the final stage is you will be 
as I said, uh, this the whole reason I made this tutorial and why I'm making this video is to show people how to get stuff delivered to their house. The system does have an option here, Isuf uh Bikinam. So you can um, you can collect from the pharmacy for free and if you take this box here on the right, the one beginning with Aleph, Isuf, um, you just need to put in your city and select which branch is closest to you and you'll be able to track it online but obviously I'm trying to show you how to order to your house and click on this button here um, uh, 29 shekels and 90 agro road is what this currently costs if you order up to 6 p.m. Uh, next day delivery is completely free sorry next day sorry it's next day delivery uh, if you order after that, you're pushed into the next day, and then and it's the next business day after that. Um, as it says here, and if you order more than 249 shackles worth of prescription medication, or in general, so you could mix up your prescription meds, and you could buy non-prescription medications, so you could get all your prescriptions, and also buy, you know, sunglasses or whatever else you get in Superform. And once the value is above this, uh, instead of costing 29, really 30 shackles, it'll actually be free. Um, and that's basically it. Then you finish your order. You put in your, uh, you put in your. Sorry, this is for this is how you do the collection. As I said, please God, when the uh, crisis is passed, we can all do this and save a bit of time. Use your city, your branch, um, and then this screen is for delivery. This is what it looks like. It's pretty standard stuff. Um, Tiur is a description. I'll be going through some of these words in uh, in my forthcoming video to show how people how to use Green Invoice, Israel's best uh, invoicing and accounting software, in my opinion, because a lot of people are going to be moving on to that. Um, so just give it a description. Put in your city, your street, um, uh, the house number, Kuma, the floor, and Dira, the which apartment number you have. <coughs> um, you will get then this kind of questionnaire screen, which is basically meant to simulate uh, what would happen if you were to actually go into Superform or any other pharmacy. You know, the usual stuff that uh, uh, My Hebrew is getting worse uh, the longer I'm staying home actually at the moment, so excuse my terrible pronunciation. But the first question, you know, if it's your first time, um, uh, taking this medication and the second question uh, if you know how to use the medication so these are all the stuff I ordered the PPI for my stomach acid and my asthma inhaler I've been taking these drugs for years and you know I just clicked Ken and Ken I know how to use them no problem um, and then you need to just click uh, you can also there is a there is a uh, delegation option here this is just ticking um, in order to give, you can let somebody else, if you're going for Yusuf Babet Merkachat Fizit, you can give somebody else the option to pick up your prescription. Tick um, this box and then put in the name of the person in Hebrew. You have to type this in Hebrew who is picking up your prescription and put in Ms. to the Tzahut, put in their national identity number in the second field here and then click on Hamshach Vitashlom. And that is basically it. You put in your credit card information and the order is placed. Now, I did this on um, Thursday at approximately 10 p.m. Uh, it didn't come on Friday because I was after the I was after the 6 p.m. cutoff, but it did come on Sunday late morning. And um, the delivery people here are at the moment very understanding of the situation. The guy left it outside the door, did not even knock on the door. I have a little... Um, don't have it here, but I have a little tip a coffee mug that I printed out a label saying tip and I just put that outside the door so the delivery guys get a tip, which is uh, kind of standard practice in Israel. I don't, I never know if you pay delivery, do you need to tip the guy as well? I heard you usually do, so I tend to. Um, and that was it, totally contactless, brought in the prescriptions and then I followed my uh, procedure for uh, bringing stuff into the house, which people might find a bit ridiculous. I throw away the exterior container, the Superform bag, um, 
and the stuff inside the actual you know taps the capsules for the drugs I just put those in my little um, medicine bag here and uh, they should not have been exposed to you know potentially the coronavirus or germs whatever now it, the, just the final thing to say about the system is if you want to follow the order you can click under your name and click on um, uh, has Manucci, my orders um, just up the very top of the screen on the Superfarm site after you have logged in um, here the drop down when you're logged in it'll say your name and you can just click on Hasmanotchali which means my orders you can click on this to update your details uh, it's not good to, to log out if you're on a shared computer or whatever uh, clicking on Hasmanotchali brings you to the screen um, and this was the order this was actually not the order I think I did a little a demo order or something that I then cancelled. Uh, mine was a bit more than this, but uh, and I also went for a delivery. I didn't, I didn't go for the Isuf uh, Express Bet Merkachat. I went for Shiruch Labait. Uh, but you can see the details one order in place, um, date of the order, the type of the order, where I pick it up, when you place the order. This is this was the first one. Etchon uh, hasmana, you can cancel. Ah, libitul hasmana. This is important if you want to cancel the order. So as I said, I did one. I think as a demo, then cancelled it, then place my real order. As far as I know, I did not get billed for the. It's it's. I imagine it's your build upon dispatch, like how Amazon and many e-commerce systems work. Um, mm, 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 and your amount and that's basically everything you need to know so let me just reiterate the conclusions of this blog post that i wrote um super farm israel's largest chain of pharmacies lets you order prescription medications online as i said i'm making this video writing this blog post in order to raise awareness of this among the english-speaking community because uh i don't think most people there's every three or four times a day at the moment on secret jerusalem which as i said uh and I would also like to just give a quick mention for this blog post because the Facebook community standards is... I, they, I have no idea why you can't post in groups. It's, it seems to be totally arbitrary. They don't give you a reason. There's no appeal mechanism. And this is a blog post I also wrote last week saying Facebook community standards needs to be stopped. Um, I, I have this thing, this, you, I got the support message saying you're temporarily restricted from joining and posting on groups you do not manage. And the weird thing is, right, so I've been locked out. This was the first one on the 22nd of, uh, 22nd of March, but I've been, I've been banned since, like, I don't know, the 15th of March. And it's horrible because right now, at this moment in time, where you're trying to tell people about the coronavirus and someone asks how to order stuff online, and I want to say... I wrote this blog post, here you go. Uh, I can't even do that at the moment. So it's a very, very frustrating situation. And the crazy part is, right, so I'm locked out from these groups. And even while I'm locked out, the thing just keeps extending. So you saw here 22nd, right? I was locked out. And then I got another message saying, you're restricted until the 25th. And then another one until the 27th. So um, I'm literally, the ban is increasing. It's all completely robot based, algorithm based. It's even increasing while I'm banned from using the features that it's further banning me from. So it makes absolutely no sense. And if you click on this appeal uh, box, it is just a complete waste of time. There's nothing, as I say, it's a sham appeals process. Uh, Facebook does not, I think it's a scam. I, I don't want to sidetrack from this uh, video here because Facebook relies upon its users for monetization. And when you try to help people, I always try to be very polite in these Facebook groups and help people out where I can. Uh, and to just be arbitrarily kicked out of them like this is kind of a, a bit of a slap in the face. So I'm not, not very impressed with Facebook at the moment. Um, oh yeah, let me just go back to my, so as I said, I can't, uh, but sorry, my point was people are asking about three times a day in the groups, how do you order, can you order prescription meds online? The answer is yes. If you have Maccabi, you can order them online with Superfarm delivery costs 229 NAS, three over 249 NAS, news ready shackles. It's next day on all orders placed before six in the evening. You can also pick up for free. And the point of this video in summary, if you are in isolation slash quarantine and have Maccabi Meuchedet slash Klalit, there is no need to leave your house in order to receive prescription medications.
So hope this has been some help. If you have any uh, specific further questions about how the system works, uh, I would be happy to try to answer them. Uh, I can be reached through my personal website, danielrosell.co.il, which really has nothing uh, on the homepage. I do have a I do have a blog here and some links to my uh, various online initiatives. Uh, um, but this contact form is uh, is working. So if you want to reach me, just fill out your name, your email message and just confirm you're not a bot and you can even reach me through uh, PGP for those geeky enough to be using uh, pretty good privacy encrypted email thank you for watching and I hope to make some more videos soon